So in past videos, I've shown how to create an application launch pad where you drag directories, folders, files, documents from your hard disk onto a, onto a simple application and it creates icons and buttons and it launches them. Now I want to create something similar, but to launch websites. Let me show you what I mean. I've got this application here. Let me run this and up pops my simple launch pad. I've got a list view this time instead of uh, uh, I'm going to display the names of the full URLs of the websites rather than try to um, create icons. Okay, so I've got some websites loaded up in my web browser. So I just select them and drag them in. Another one here, drag it in and one here and drag it in. So it's added as a list item onto my uh, web page launch pad. So let me just close all these down. So I've got an empty browser again and I'll show you how I can launch them. So I double click one of these, up pops my browser and in goes the in goes the uh, web page, double click that, and it logs onto that web page and so on. So how is this done? Now, if you've ever done any web programming, you know it can get quite complicated. And Microsoft.net has all sorts of special classes, uh, HTTP classes for querying web pages and getting results and doing things asynchronously. And it can all be quite complicated, but I don't need any of that stuff. I'm just going to adapt the code I've already written for launching files and directories, only this time using web addresses. Let me show you how. So in this project, I've really simplified it. I've just got a, a text box and a button, and I can select the web address in my web browser and just drag it over the text box. It gets put into the text box there. To launch it, I click the button and it loads it back up into the browser. So let's have a look at the code. It's, uh, it's all pretty simple stuff, really. So as before, when I created the application launch pad, and by the way, if you haven't watched those videos, I really suggest you do, because otherwise you might not understand exactly what's going on. That's all been explained in my earlier videos. The first thing I've had to do is to set the text box to be a drop target. So I set its allow drop property to true. Now, when the mouse drags over something over the text box, then its drag enter uh, event fires off. And so I've just set the drag drop effects to copy, all explained in the earlier videos. And when the drop occurs, then the drag drop event handler fires off. And this time the data format is just plain text, which is different from when I was doing uh, files and directories in the earlier programs. The text is simply the web address and I convert that to string and I put the text in the text box. That's what you saw being apparently dropped when I run the code. So when the button's clicked, this is what happens. As in earlier examples, it's the uh, system.diagnostics.process which is what actually is going to run the, the, the program. In this case, it's going to run or it's going to load the web address into the default web browser. And that's done down here with shell execute equals true and then process start. So all I really have to do then is make sure that it's a valid web address. Well, I don't check that the, the web address exists. Um, all I'm really doing is checking that it's valid format. And to do that, I use URI, which is, as you can see here, it's a, a system class. And I just check it's a well formatted string, that it's got uh, an absolute uh, format, that is, it gives you the full web address rather than being relative to some other address, which we certainly don't want. And then it's just started as uh, usual. The only other thing I've done here is uh, with some web browsers, for example, when I drag from Chrome, I've noticed that very frequently it misses out the HTTP uh, or HTTPS. And if that is missing from the text that I've dragged, I just add it again before launching it. And that's it. That's all there is to starting up a web address in a web browser. How did I create the application where I had multiple addresses in the list view, 
let's look at my next project. So here's the application I showed right at the start of this video. This is the list box where, or the list view, where I can drag in multiple web addresses and double click to launch. What's going on here? Well, first of all, this is the list view component that I've dragged on and I have set its view to list. It has different sorts of views. You can have, you know, sort of big icons and all that sort of thing. Well, I just want it to be rows of web addresses. So that's what I've done by setting it to list. Here, allow drop equals true again and uh, drag enter just as in the previous uh, example. Drag drop, well this time I've needed to add the items, each item that's dropped to the list view because before I only had the one text box. Now I want to add multiple items, so I add it to the list view. And I also add an event handler to deal with double click. I've explained adding event handlers in previous, um, previous videos. So if you don't know how to do that, this is the syntax, but that's explained more in previous videos. And then the launching is just done on double click. So again, I'm using the same techniques as I showed in the simpler example. Uh, all I'm doing really is just getting the focused item, that is the uh, item in the list view that needed to be launched. Everything else is pretty much the same as before. And that's it, it really is that simple to create a very simple web launching application that lets you drag web addresses from the browser and double click them to launch.